Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl Sue. I am so excited to share this unboxing with you guys. Just because this is, uh, I can't even put words in it how excited I am for this unboxing. As a matter of fact, this is not going to be like a true unboxing only because I just couldn't hold the excitement in. Like when I got it, I had to open it right away just to make sure everything was exactly the way it was described. But yeah, let's just let's just jump right into it. And if you guys are new, my name is Sue. I do a lot of beauty related videos, unboxings. I mainly focus on product review videos. So that is your type of jam. Hopefully you guys stick around and subscribe at the end of this video. Okay, let's just jump right into it. So I have the box here with me already. It's a little bit not as flat as you guys can see because I've already unboxed it. And I've actually worn the bag for one day already. Actually, I actually wore it out um, just the other night. Me and my sisters went out to eat dinner. And I thought, why not wear it out? Because I was just that excited and obsessed with this bag. So you guys obviously can tell this is a Chanel bag. So obsessed. And you guys open the bag up, it looks like this. It's in this kind of wrapping. Oh my gosh, the seller was so sweet. Just so professional. She like bagged everything up in like almost its actual condition that you would have got if you bought it in the boutique. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the bag is in one of their classic dust bags. So you guys can obviously tell this is going to be a classic bag. And when I got it and it was all boxed up, there was the ribbons with the Chanel logo all over the box. And then it still had like the tags on it to show how much it originally cost with its code and everything on there. It had this wrapping that went around the chain and then it had this booklet which actually I didn't have it didn't come with my other Chanel bags that I got but I read through it and it has like the history of how Chanel came about like you know how long it takes to make a Chanel bag and all that sort of good stuff behind it you get the little pamphlet that has the little cloth here that you can use to clean your bag with four wrapping wrappings and then I have the little card right here that has the serial number on the back that shows you what series this bag is and this is a 30 series which means well i don't know what it really means but i know that this bag is since it's not a brand new bag this was pre-loved this bag was actually bought last year so it was produced or made last year let's get into the bag itself so are you guys ready because i am ready anyways so here's the beautiful dust bag and when you open it up dun, dun, dun. here she is this is the Chanel Classic Flat in all black in caviar and this is in the medium size. This is in gold hardware. Open it up. Let me just take this off. I already took this off. I put it back in to show you guys. It's there to pretty much protect the bag. You guys, here she is. Here is a close-up view of the bag. Size medium again. A little side view and then here's the back with the Mona Lisa smile or Mona Lisa pocket and then the other side view the bottom if you guys are new to Chanel it does not have any feet at the bottom and the bot the top looks like so and then the strap is here, it's a little bit tangled. But yes, this is in gold hardware. Again, here is the fabulous back. And then you open it up. It looks like so inside. It's got, this is a double flap. And inside, this is pretty much one big compartment with a pocket right there. And then, yeah, with two pockets with the little part in the middle. And then it's got a little compartment there also. So I'm planning on making a full review video for you guys on this bag. Just partic particularly because this is a classic bag. It's always going to be around. It's stand the true test of time. So I don't know how far back this bag goes, but way back in the days, it's a classic. And even till this day, everybody still, you know, 
go after it basically because it is like I said a classic bag I will do a review video on this bag um, not now only because I've just gotten it for a few days so I really don't have a full you know idea of like the pros and cons about this particular bag I do want to say that I am absolutely obsessed with this bag when I wore it out a few days ago I told my sisters they're like is that your new bag and I was like yeah this is my new bag and they're like they absolutely love this bag way more than all like my other bags um I don't buy it because of you know for investment reasons because I don't think you should ever invest your money in purses just because that's just my opinion but I just buy the bag because I, I love the bag and again just in the fact that you know there is an investment behind it is just a pro in my opinion that is definitely something for you guys to think about I like, don't just buy a bag because okay first of all because it's trendy because it's popular at the moment if it doesn't work for you don't get it and also because you think oh it's gonna make money for you in a few years like what if it doesn't and then what are you gonna be super disappointed um buy the bag because you love the bag and i actually really do love the bag um i own the um the classic square mini which is right here with me you guys have seen on my videos i've done you know views about this is the uh, square mini classic and you guys can obviously tell this is the smallest of the classics so next to each other Okay, so the lighting is kind of like on this side more than this side, so this side looks a little bit darker. Here's that. Let me, let me just switch sides, maybe. Okay, so here's a little good idea you guys can get of a, a square mini to a medium. And then the side view, it should pretty much be like the same size and width. And then the back view. They All the classics, they have the Mono Lisa pocket side view again and then the top pretty much here is the bottom the only difference is that the square media is not double flap obviously this is it's just it just doesn't so like i mentioned i've already worn this bag once to the store and i've actually packed my stuff in it and i took it out just to show you guys how it looks empty but what i actually pack in there is pretty much just my essentials i actually now because i wasn't able to pack it in like my square mini or my um louis vuitton palm springs mini or the nano speedy i um i have this little mini pusher that i always want to carry with me just everywhere and now i can pack it because it fits this bag so usually i just pack it in here this is gonna be a little quick to show you guys because i will do a full review on this bag so when I put it in there, you guys can see it's in there and I've got a decent amount of room. So I usually will pack my keys in there. And then I've got my little um, origami and I put it in there. And then I would just leave or put my phone in this front pocket. Pretty much snap it shut and I'm super excited because with this size bag, I can actually fit more stuff in it and not have to worry too much about you know just kind of oh god i can only keep like this certain stuff in the bag and this certain stuff out so that's one thing why i did decide to get the plastic flap in the medium size i honestly really wanted it in the small size the small size is so cute it pretty much is probably like an inch smaller than this bag only to maybe like so and i think yeah i think because right now like the small bags is so trendy right now small bags is just so cute to wear on your shoulders you know what i mean but then um i have so many small bags already i've got the square mini and then i've got my palm strings mini i've got my nano speedy and i got a few other small bags already so i just thought you know why not let me just get a medium-sized bag like i told you guys i honestly thought this bag was going to fit more stuff in it but it doesn't so i kind of get people say oh a lot of people really like the jumbo size so the jumbo is probably going to be like maybe an inch or so maybe one or two inches or one and a half inches bigger than this one only and the width i mean the height would be like taller but i do know that i mean i've heard everybody says that the jumbo is super heavy that is definitely something to keep in mind i think i've seen somebody wore once to my old workplace they had the jumbo and i looked at it and i was like that's gotta be a jumbo because i've never seen jumbo in person but it didn't look smaller because she was super tall and she had a decent amount of like weight to her not she wasn't a big or anything but she had like curves on her and it just it matches her perfectly but when i looked at it i was like that has 
to be a jumbo. I just knew it. And now looking at this one, it just pretty much confirms my um, assumption at the time that that was a jumbo because that was bigger than this one. And that wasn't as big as the maxi. I really don't have much to say about the bag. I just wanted to share this unboxing with you guys. If you guys have any questions, you guys can just comment down below. I think I'm going to wrap it up for this unboxing. I am so excited. I have this in my collection. So I am planning on selling one of the bags I have in my collection just because I don't use them at all honestly I have the Coco Handle which I bought last year and then I have the Chanel 19 which I bought at the beginning of this year and I actually wore the Chanel 19 way more than the Coco Handle so I'm thinking about selling the Coco Handle just because I don't wear it at all I think I wore it once ever since I bought the bag that might be out of my collection soon I'm not too sure yet but I know for sure that this is going to be a forever bag if you have any questions comments just comment down below and I hope you guys will subscribe and stick around with my little small YouTube family besides that i will see you guys on my next video bye guys